Okay, so this video is the comparison of the 4070 Ti to my 1080 Ti. Uh, Nvidia's marketing material seem to favor that kind of thing, but I just wanted to actually put some numbers in. Just so you're aware, I'm not gonna reference the price of the 4070 Ti. Uh, this video is purely a comparison to the 1080 Ti, okay? Um, right, so what you can see here is the new 4070 Zotac uh, w next to my old Gaming X Trio MSI 1080 Ti. As you can see, they're very similar heights and depths and widths. Um, and uh, yeah, the design of the new one I quite like. Um, right, going into Time Spy, you can see that the score here compared to the 1080 Ti is basically double. Um, which is kind of what you'd expect. Uh, same going into Time Spy Extreme. It's not quite double, but almost. Okay, moving on to the Callisto Protocol Benchmark. 1080 Ti Callisto Ultra Preset, no ray tracing, no FSR. We have 35.87 FPS. Moving on to the 4070, same settings, it's 71.68 FPS. Unfortunately, this benchmark doesn't show us lows. Uh, so no ray tracing, but with FSR performance on the 1080 Ti, which is kind of best case scenario at Ultra Preset, it's 51 FPS. We didn't run that same test with the 4070. We moved over to balanced, so 77.84 FPS. And then um, the 1080 Ti on balanced as well is 46.81 FPS. Okay, moving on to ray tracing, FSR performance on the 1080 Ti, which is a little bit of a joke, as you can probably imagine, it's 8.82 FPS, definitely not playable. Uh, whereas ray tracing FSR performance on the 4070 Ti is 39.22. Borderline playable, personally, I like things at 60 FPS. Um, but with FSR quality mode, it's then 38.99. So I think this is a CPU limitation I may have hit there. Uh, in Dying Light 2, Ultra, no ray tracing, uh, no FSR with the 1080 Ti, we get highs of 30 and lows of 22. Uh, on the 4070, we get highs of 74 and lows of 55. No ray tracing, no FSR, as I said. 1080 Ti, Dying Light 2, Ultra, no ray tracing, FSR, 54 and 44 lows. Moving on, we got uh, 4070 is 102 with 69 lows. And that's FSR quality mode. Uh, 1080 Ti performance mode 70 with lows of 59. Once again, this is without ray tracing, obviously. And 4070 Ultra, no ray tracing, FSR performance 110 and 67 for lows. Okay, so moving on, we got DLSS quality mode, which I've chucked in because DLSS obviously doesn't run on the 1080. We got 101 and 67. And then with ray tracing, DLSS quality mode, we've got 62 and 51. Moving on to GPU Z, you can see the differences here. I've underlined some of them. Uh, obviously, resizable bar isn't compatible on 1080 uh, Ti, so that makes a big difference in terms of CPU uh, utilization, I believe, uh, what I've seen. Bear in mind that the, oh, the 1080 Ti was overclocked and the um, Zotac wasn't. And as you can see, this is the settings I've settled on now for the Zotac as an overclock. Uh, mainly being memory. If I touched the GPU clock at all, my 3D Mark score went down, so I left it as default. Okay, so that's a nice quick video for people looking to upgrade from a 1080 Ti to a 4070 Ti. I uh, hope you found it useful. Okay, cheers, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Have a good one.